Welcome to Code Time. My name's Trevor Greenleaf. In this series, we're going to be covering Laravel Socialite. Now, if you've ever wanted to uh, log in users with maybe Facebook, Instagram, GitHub, so how do I do that? Well, most of the time, well, not all of the time, it's set up with OAuth. And OAuth is this exchanging of keys from your server, their server, and your user, basically, who's going to log in with their credentials. And so when all of that gets done, it's going to make an access token. And then with that access token, you would store that on your database for your user, and you would have uh, basically login authentication. So then you could hit it again, and it would go and work. Well, the thing is, though it is doable, it's kind of a pain to set that up. For every single site, maybe you have more than one login. It's a serious pain then because you got to provision that user, see if it's GitHub login. You got to set up their OAuth system. If it's Facebook, another one. If it's Instagram, another one. And there's a lot of different login systems out there that you may want to use to connect. Well, Laravel Socialite by Taylor Otwell, the creator of Laravel, has made this so much easier. And what it's done basically is provided a system that integrates with Laravel and then providers via Socialite that you can go and integrate with. So let's take a look at some of those providers. So I'm on GitHub uh, Laravel Socialite right now. And you can just do a Google for Laravel Socialite and you'll find that this package has 2.37 million downloads. So it's pretty popular and it is the primary way to set up uh, application or uh, authentication through other providers. So if we click on Socialite 2.0 here, and uh, this will take us over, or you can click on the Socialite providers website. Uh, uh, let's actually do that. Let's click on the Socialite providers website. And uh, here you can see the Socialite providers. And uh, this is provided, I think two people here uh, created these providers and set them up. And on the side here, you can see all of the providers that are set up. So 23andMe, 37signals, which is Basecamp, 500pixels, uh, Asana. Uh, so you get things that maybe, uh, yeah, DigitalOcean, of course, that aren't as big. Uh, and then things that are very large, uh, organizations like Google+, Plus, of course. Um, you have Jira integration, MailChimp integration, LinkedIn integration. Uh, PayPal, RDO, Shopify, Steam, Tumblr, Twitch, uh, Yahoo, uh, Vimeo. So quite a, uh, uh, a plethora, I guess you could say, of providers here, right? So pretty much anything that's major, they have a provider for it. Of course, you can go and set up your own if you needed to do so. But most of them are pretty easy and they're set up right out of the box. Now, when you think about this, though, and offering providers, you got to think about like, well, does that make sense? Just because you can do it doesn't mean you should do it, right? Does that make sense for you to offer a login to your users with another provider, right? That means you're basically, you know, somebody clicks Facebook login, you're going to grab their Facebook information and you're going to provision an account with your system. Well, that also means that... Uh, Facebook's going to know about that, right? And if you don't want Facebook or another service provider to know about that, well, it doesn't really work that way. You got to have them know about it. So there's a little bit of a trade-off there. Also, um, you know, what's wrong with just another email account, right? Uh, another system, right, that they got to have a password and they got to remember that and do all of that. So most of the time, think about the major companies and how they handle that, right? Think about Instagram, for example. Of course, they got bought up by Facebook, but they offer Facebook sign up. Uh, and so that you can provision that way a user with it. Uh, for something like uh, a coding project, maybe you'd offer GitHub as a provider so that they can provision an account with GitHub. But when you, when you got start adding maybe more than three, even three seems excessive, in, I think, in a way. Uh, find the best provider that matches your audience. And I think if you can do that, and, and of course a provider that has a lot of users that you're gonna try to get. Uh, otherwise, you might get one or two and it's not users and it just wasn't really worth the effort for the integration. So keep that in mind when you set this up. 
this is Laravel Socialite. We are going to, uh, of course, install this and set it up with Laravel. You're going to need some basic knowledge of Laravel, of course. So definitely watch that basic series on Laravel, uh, which will take you from controllers and routes and views. And you should have a very strong understanding before beginning this series. Um, this is definitely in the advanced category, though it's not incredibly difficult. Uh, it can be uh, somewhat cumbersome at times to uh, resolve bugs and things like that. And you really got to have an understanding of how things are connected and where what goes what. Uh, so that with that, let's jump in and uh, get started with Laravel Socialite. 